this is Karen and Love Light Shine Art and Sew and I'm going to show you what we're going to make today. So today we're going to do some tin can art. Um, this is one I just made and it can be used for all kinds of things. So I'm going to show you what we can do with it. You can make a little lid. I made this little lid out of a wood slice, added a bead on top. And I put just little cotton things in there to use in on your dressing table. Added a little, little heart and some little bows. So that's one thing you can do with it. Another thing, you can put a plant in it. This one is the one we're going to make today. So you can put a plant inside it. Now, it's just sitting in there. It's not planted, but you can plant it. No problem. Okay. Um, also, I have a little one. You can use a little can. And I thought I have uh, Q-tips and cotton balls in this one. And uh, add a little a bead on top. I've got ribbon around the top. Also found some little uh, yarn that you, my daughter used to crochet the tops of socks with that. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Okay. This is fabric, and I did two on this one so I could see if it would work, and this is tissue. This could have been Vienna's. That would have been a good can to use. So, I don't know what he would had in this. Probably a small can of corn. Like, this was really cute. This little plant fit in there, but I put those in there, so. And then, the, so I'm going to show you what I used to make, to make these with. This that was fabric and tissue, and this is paper. This is scrapbook paper. So I used Mod Podge, but you can also use tacky glue or um, gel medium. I have some of that. Um, you can use Elmer's glue. You don't have to go spend a lot of money. You can use scrap big paper or you can use an old book and tear the pages out if you don't want to tear up a book use a, a magazine it's the magazine so i'm going to use for this next one oh let me let me show you this was the fabric and this was the tissue i love these books so i'm going to use use this one I thought that would be cute across the box. So I went ahead and cut it. So this is what's left. I cut it, and then I cut little pieces to make it the size of the can. So this is what we're working with. But I'm going to save these pieces, because these can be used for something else. Like this, this one came off of the other one. I could cut a strip and put it around it. In fact, I could use this one over here on this can and like put it around the bottom and give it a strike or wherever the lid fell off. So there's that. But we're gonna use this on one of these cans. I have two here Mike saved for me. And I didn't wanna cut the butterfly and I ended up cutting some of the flowers. It kinda made me sad, but that's okay. So I'm going to point it down so you can see where the magic happens. I painted this one before I decoupaged on it, but it doesn't, I don't believe it needs to be. Um, I covered it up, so, and the paint didn't really stick great on it, so I don't think we need to paint it, especially not the gold one. I'm going to put this one on the silver. And so what I did, uh, we washed this out really good. And when you open the can that you're going to use like this, you don't want any sharp edges. So um, we use that can opener like you hold it like this and it goes around like and it just pulls the top part off. It was like this pampered shelf one. So that's why um, it's got a nice and uh, not sharp edge. I don't know if the other ones are as good, but you want to use one that gives you a nice clean cut. So we're gonna do we're gonna use the Mod Podge today. And I 
I already used it earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and shake it up again. All right. I'm going to set it over here, and I'm going to dry off my brush really good. I had used this the other day for Mod Podge and forgot, and it got hard, and I left it sitting in the water overnight, and it came back. So if you accidentally let your brush get uh, stiff with Mod Podge, then um, you can just put it in the water overnight. At least mine came back. So hopefully yours would too. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like paint the can and then just start rolling the paper around it. I was gonna this is one I don't know if my granddaughter made this or or my daughter, but you can also use them for uh, pencil holders, scissor holder, your tools if you do jewelry, your jewelry tools would uh, sit in there. I have brushes, your paint brushes. I have little jars and cans with this stuff all over the place. And if you're, you're most of your craft decals, you're on here. So if you're not, if you're new at it, make yourself a brush holder. Here's exactly where I start. I'm gonna start. Just going to end up at the same. And since I messed it up, got it on there. Okay, now I'm just laying it on top of the Mod Podge and rolling it around. And as I get to the part I haven't painted yet, I'm just going to go in and start painting that. And then I'm going to go on top of it as well. So that will make it more waterproof so if you uh, put a plant in it it won't get ruined you might have to scooch it a little bit to make sure it's in the right spot and I made it all the way to the bottom doesn't want to stick. Maybe the paint did help. I painted it the last time, so maybe the paint gave it a little bit of porous to stick to, but it'll stick to itself. Okay, so there's, there's our can wrapped. It's a little I'm going to push it up a little bit because it's a little crooked. And now I'm going to go over the top of it. This is a pretty a fast and easy craft. You can make these for, uh, for gifts. I'm just going to go back over the top. That'll help it uh, stay because it won't be as stiff once it's wet. And I just like to kind of like, I'll probably take my fingers and just mash that down so it goes a, a little bit around the curve, just so it's not sticking up. Like that. Okay, so we're going to set that aside to dry. Put that. I don't know if I like it as well as the one with the all over, but I think it's pretty. And it'll, when it dries, it'll be clear. This one, I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna do the tissue because I just, I love the tissue. This was the, this was the tissue right there. But I had it on top of paint. So let's see if we don't need to paint it. And I don't know if I want to just do it all over or just tear it. I think the uh, I think the can might show through that we're gonna try it anyway. We're just gonna go for it. 
Man, this is a brand new thing in Mod Podge, so it's all the way to the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on here. And then I'm going to tear some of the little flowers, tear around the flowers, and then just lay it on here. A little brush to smooth it out. I saw somebody do this, and I thought, that's clever. Oh, I didn't go all the way. Let's do that right here. Now these, it's tissue instead of a napkin, so it's easier to pick up and move. Napkins would have, that would not have worked. Ivy in there. He brought me a uh, the little uh, aloe vera. Somebody gave us an aloe vera and it just goes crazy. He replants it and replants it. So we have tons of aloe vera. And my little granddaughter brought me a little cactus for my birthday. So you could put a little uh, suc actually a little succulent. Be a little succulent in there. That would be cute. And I would just like poke a hole in the bottom. I'm going to poke a hole on the side to put a wire because we did a, I did a wire on this other one. I'll make sure I've got all the tissue. I'll probably need to go back over this just a little bit to make sure it's covered because we don't want it to get wet and mess up our tissue. And then it's going to have to dry. But then we're going to do something else. I got something else to show you. We made these little, I made these little um, hearts. So I put this little heart on here. And this is tissue. I painted the heart and then I did the tissue on top. So there's that one. And then this one I painted and I just cut one of the hearts out of the fabric and put that on there. And they're not. They're not glued together, but that would be cute to put them on a line. I don't, I don't like to be straight on. Oh, I'm spilling dirt again. I'm messy. Okay, so now I've got two done. Those two are done. Now we got to decorate them. I tore that. That got tore, so we're going to lay it back down. It's just, it just popped up, so we're just going to lay it back down. Let's these were from Hobby Lobby. have the uh, I have this we can put around it I think I'm gonna go with this one I think it kind of matches let's do that let's make something with this I think I'll go around it a couple of times and give it like a little shawl does that make sense 
Okay, we're going to try the Mod Podge. We're just going to try. Cut it. I like the pink. Okay, we're gonna put a pink. Oh, oh, I was gonna show you. This, I saw this on Pinterest. You take the take out three of them like this, and then you tie them together with a ribbon. And then it could be a cute little desk thing for your, um, I'm sorry, for your paper clips, your pens, your tools. That would be cute. Even on your, um, even on your dressing table, you could do it like this. I'm going to do that. The purple one needs something on top of it, though. I want the butterfly to show, so I'm going to put it here. Okay. And maybe I'll put a little bow right there. But now if I put the, the heart, you're not going to be able to see it, so... Okay, let me show you how to do the wire on top. I use my crop -a doll I'm sure you probably have something you can use, an awl or something, to uh, poke a hole. Um, I'm going to do it on this one. So I'm going to stick this in here. It has a little, you can see the thing right here where it goes down. That's what's going to poke a hole. So I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to push it all the way up. Line it up. It looks good. And it pops out the uh, the middle. And I'm going to line it up to the cross from that one. Take out the little metal. And this one I used the blue wire. So I use the silver on this one. This is just wire you get at the uh, jewelry department um, at Hobby Lobby. I saw it yesterday, so I know they have it. Because my little label is gone. So. so I'm going to pull out a length of it. Maybe a little more than that. My wire cutters. Cut it whatever length you want it. This is easy. And I like it when it's not all perfectly rounded. I think it's kind of cute. It looks kind of homey. Uh, you know. So I'm just going to bend it. But you want to make sure you bend it to where that little sharp piece goes back down. If you have some needle nose, this is not a good pair. I don't know where my good pair is. You can use those to squeeze it down. Same thing here. I went on the out to the end. You could do in to out either way. Sorry, I think I went off. I am so sorry. I get to doing it and I forget to look to see if I'm on the screen or off the screen. Okay. Probably need to raise it a little bit. You can see it. Can you see those? There we go. So there's the three or four little one the four so we've got the little handles on those two a little lid ah 
Got a little lid for that one with a little top on it. I just hot glued a bead on top of the wood slice. Super simple. So there's those. So I've got, this can be cotton balls, Q-tips, and my little, uh, um, these little thingies. Get your eye makeup off with. And then this could be your makeup brushes. And I was going to bring some in here and forgot. You could also use them for tools. Um, scissors. I mean, they just, they don't cost anything. Because this is stuff that just, you know, you, you, you throw away in the recycle bin. So how fun is that? So, and these were like a dollar... 70. They're $2.99 regular price, so 40% off, um, and you don't even need those. You don't even need them. Tissue, a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then, if you ain't got fabric around, cut up an old shirt. <laughs> have you done that before? I know I have. Um, I like this. I think I'm going to take some jeans and make me a uh, apron. I saw um, my friend, I think it was Melanie yesterday on one of the uh, tutorials. She had this cute little jean apron and I'm like, oh, I can do that with my jeans that are too big for me now because I can't wear them and I'm sad because they're my favorite jeans. I'm not sad that I lost weight, but I'm sad that I can't wear my favorite jeans. <laughs> so I can make an apron. So, does anybody want to see how to make an apron out of a pair of jeans? Because I'm going to figure it out. And I'm probably going to do, do it on my page. Go over to Love, Light, Shine, Art, and Sew. Like my page. I do all kinds of things. So, you never know what I'm going to post. Thank you for watching. It's been fun. I'll talk to you guys later.